Welcome to this horror special of TRS Clips. Subscribe and enjoy this video. Do you want to talk about the kind of meditation you do? Do you pray? Like, do you? Ah, uh, so yeah, sure. Um, uh, I've I've never talked about it actually. But uh, what we do is more like, uh, breathing meditations. Um, that's the most basic one that I do. Um, and then uh, beyond that, what I do is kind of. I don't know if you know, and there uh, as of now there are so many modules of meditation. So what we have designed, uh, like me personally, is what I call that white light meditation and golden light meditation. Considering we know how powerful those spectrum of lights are, white, golden, violet. This is visualization based. Yes, where you visualize meditation. Visualize that your body is filling up yes. white light, golden light, or any other colored yeah. light. Yeah. As if a glass is being filled up with water. Correct. You take the light in through the top of your yeah. head. Yeah. From the crown to the earth star chakra. Um, that's the eight chakra that we have. Niche. And uh, we kind of cleanse ourselves too. Because as human beings, we also have our ups and downs. And if we are down, no matter what is the cause, it could be any cause, a family thing or something like that. We cannot investigate a place. We cannot go and investigate a place if energetically we are down. So we make sure that we are not... So I don't drink, I don't smoke. Pooja doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. Because we are very sure that anything that is bringing down your consciousness is making you vulnerable to get affected by not just human beings, but also spirits. So we make sure no drinking, no smoking. Or whoever does it in our team, we make sure two days before investigation, you're not drinking, you're not smoking. Keep your body clean. Yes, clean and just meditate. That's what you do. Wow. And you've seen this happen where someone who's a drinker or a oh, smoker? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it happened in Mathiran. One of our guys, he is not with us right now. He has some personal uh, no work to carry out right now. Oh, thank God. I thought <laughs> <laughs> Then he's getting married and all. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, we went to Mathiran to investigate this church. Uh, you, have you been to Mathiran, right? Yeah. Uh, have you felt anything different when you enter Mathiran? Just it was from a very long ago, but I definitely felt a sense of isolation. That This place is isolated. Not just because it's that far mm -hmm. up and you have to take those horses and go. Yeah. But there's just some deeper layer of isolation. Yes. There. Like maybe it's spiritually isolated or something. Yes, dude, yes. I don't know what it is. It's very true. Because the moment we went for the first time to Mathra and we entered and we're like, we we came somewhere. Something This is something else. The vibes are also different. I think when you go now, whenever you go, I think you feel it more strongly. Yeah, I was a kid that time. Yeah. But I know what you mean. And it's also yeah. some of the most beautiful forest pathways I've seen yes. anywhere in India. That's all yeah. I remember. That yeah. beautiful forest. Yeah. But deep level of isolation. I felt like I was just with my friends. Correct. And very cut away from family. Very yeah. cut away from society. It's very different. Very, very... Um, the vibes are very different, yeah, from Mathiran. I think they it's uh, one of our favorite places. But uh, just to give you a brief of what happened to one of our ex-crew guys, he was with us and we were investigating this church. And uh, Pooja and Savio found something in one of the spots and they were digging quite literally because they felt there's something underground that they have to figure out. And I'm like, what are you going to get? It's like, it's been so many years. So I'm being that... Skeptic. Skeptic, you know. I'm like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy who will be skeptic in the beginning, but... Uh, when I start seeing things, start proving things, I'll, so I'm always open like that. But in the first action, I'll be like, what will you get there? There's no point because it's been so many years that church has been like abandoned, like for 400 years now. And the both are like, no, there was, there was a murder that was committed here and something like that. And the, uh, um, uh, one of our guys, he was recording. And when they were digging, he, I, I could, like I said, I'm noticing everything that is happening right now. I noticed that uh, this guy is doing something like, you know, he's like very, very discomfort. Uh, and I'm asking Shiva, you're all fine? Because of course, you know, when you go to Martha and we sit those rickshaws or horse and not everyone has that experience to sit on those things. So it can act uh, on your body, show on your body. And I'm like, are you fine? He's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, okay. And then, uh, so as I'm asking, they're stopping their digging wala part and they are listening to him what he's saying and i'm like yeah you guys please continue then they again started digging and again i'm seeing he's reacting to something and i'm like are you sure i find he's like i uh, i think I'm, I'm i'm tired that's what it is like he was moving he was he's moving he's moving his shoulders okay. and all like his back is aching or something like that so the third time they went on to dig he is like shouting now in pain and he's like, sir, boy, I, I cannot handle this pain. It's aching right now. I'm like, what the hell happened? You're all fine like two minutes back. He said, no, something is happening right now. So that is when, you know, like I said, people do call me. My, my team calls me psychopath because of my methods, because I always take that next step to get the answers. I kind of figured out that it's something to do with the digging. 
So I asked Pooja and Savio, continue digging. They start digging. He starts reacting again more. I'm like, stop. And he's fine. And we dig again and he's again reacting. So I'm like, you know, there, there's something that is doing something to you. And he's like, you know, sub, I'm feeling this burning sensation here. So he was wearing this hoodie, which has no chain. I have to like completely remove the hoodie to figure out. So somewhere or the other, we had to lift and we saw this scratch mark on his back. That is what he was reacting to. And uh, he has been holding the camera all this while. There's no way he can put his hand and do that. So that happened. And I'm like, you know, what did it happen to you? Because I've been triggering. These both are digging. And we know the place, the history and the psychic readings, right? Affected you. I just happened. Did you smoke now? I'm like, how did you know? I'm like, dude, the spirit told me right now with your body's reaction. And like, yeah, I did because I was feeling very tired and all. So I had to do that to get that boost of energy. I'm like, you saw it. And the same guy got affected when we went to Roha Fort in Kutch. Same thing. He had, he, he got affected. The weakest aura gets affected. It does. It always does. And uh, I'm glad he's working on that now. But uh, he got pulled by a spirit in Roha Fort in Kutch. And uh, after five minutes, I happened to be with him and I asked, uh, were you smoking right before coming for an investigation? They're like, yeah, how did you know? How did spirits told me? <laughs> so we have seen that happening, yes. If you enjoyed this clip, good for you. Hit the like button, subscribe. There's more horror videos on TRS clips. That's the playlist.